How are you grade 5 kids? We are now in week 8, lesson 2, Equivalent Ratios. A ratio is a relationship between two numbers or items, usually involving some kind of measurement. For example, when people drive, they travel at a certain speed. We usually refer to that speed as miles per hour. That is a ratio because it shows a relationship between distance and time. After going through this lesson, you are expected to identify and write equivalent ratios. Study the pictures. There are ratios that can be formed based on pictures. The first one is 8 to 10. And 4 to 5. You can write the given ratio in fraction form such as 4 to 10 or simply 4 to 5. Now, what is the relation between the two ratios in the previous part? Let us reduce the ratios to lowest terms by dividing the both terms of its ratio by their GCFs. 8 to 10 The GCF is 2 The lowest term is 4 to 5 4 to 5 is already in lowest term. So, 4 to 5 is equal to 8 to 10. In the equality of ratios, A and D are called extremes, while B and C are the means. In equal ratios, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Using the equal ratios above, we can see that the product of the means, 10 times 4 equals 40, is equal to the product of the extremes, 5 times 8 equals 40. Learning task 1. Write equal sign in the circle if the given pair of ratios are equal and not equal sign if not. Number 1. 64 times 15, 960. 12 times 80, 960. Equal. Number 2. 3 times 56, 168. 7 times 24, 168. Equal. Number 3. 6 times 100, 600. 7 times 75, 525. Not equal. Number 4. 15 times 28. 420, 12 times 35, 420, equal. Number 5, 14 times 24, 336, 40 times 9, 360, not equal. Number 6, 8 times 15, 120, 12 times 10, 120, equal. Number 7, 16 times 6, 96, 32 times 2, 64, not equal. Number 8, 10 times 23, 13 times 20, so, not equal. Number 9. 
15 times 8, 120. 6 times 20, 120. Equal. Number 10. 6 times 15, 900. 100 times 9, 900. Equal. Learning task 2. Fill each box with the correct number that will make equivalent ratios. Number 1. N times 56, 56 N. 7 times 24, 168. 168 divided by 56 equals 3. Number 2. 8 times 15, 120. 3 times n, 3n. 120 divided by 3 equals 40. Number 3. 12 times 5, 60. n times 15, 15n. 60 divided by 15 equals 4. Number 4. 4 times 8, 32. 16 times n, 16n. 32 divided by 16 equals 2. Number 5. 27 times 15, 405. N times 9, 9N. 405 divided by 9 equals 45. Number 6. 11 times 450, 4,950. N times 330. 330N. 4,950 divided by 330 equals 15. Number 7. 35 times 8, 280. N times 20, 20N. 20 280 divided by 20 equals 14. Number 8, 12 times 10, 120, 15 times 10, 15N, 120 divided by 15 equals 8. Number 9, 5 times 18, 90, N times 30, 30N. 90 divided by 30 equals 3. Number 10. 20 times n, 20n. 12 times 15, 180. 180 divided by 20 equals 9. Learning task 3. Solve for the given problems. Number 1. Two numbers are in the ratio 2 to 3. If the bigger number is 6, what is the smaller number? Small to big? 2 to 3. Equals n to 6. 2 times 6 equals 12. 3 times n. 3n. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Number 2. What number compared with 8 is the same as 6 compared with 24? So that is n is to 8 equals 6 is to 24. n times 24, 24n. 8 times 6, 48. So, 48 divided by 24 equals 2. Number 3. 
There are 18 red roses for every 6 blue roses. How many red roses are there if there are 3 blue roses? The first ratio is 18 to 6, then n to 3. So 18 times 3, 54. 6 times n, 6n. So 54 divided by 6 equals 9. 9 red roses. Number 4. There are 7 children for every 2 adults in a plaza. How many adults are there if there are 21 children? 7 to 2 equals 21 to n. 7 times n, 7n. 2 times 21 equals 42. 42 divided by 7 equals 6. 6 adults. Number 5. Two numbers are in the ratio 3 to 5. If their difference is 12, what are the numbers? Let A and B the first and the second numbers. Equals 12 or the difference is 12. So, 3 to 5 equals 2. Let us find out what is the first number. 3 is to 2 equals A is to 12. 3 times 12, 36. 2 times A, 2A. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. About the second number. 5 to 2 equals B to 12. 5 times 12, 60. 2 times B, 2B. So 60 divided by 2 equals 30. To check 30 minus 18, the difference is 12. So 18 and 30.